Welcome back, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna tear it all apart. Pretty straightforward, I, I would think. Um, intake manifold, exhaust manifold's gotta come off, valve cover head, all this fun stuff up here so we can get this timing cover off down here. So, you know, water pump, li literally everything here. Take it off and uh, once we do that, we can check and get this engine at absolute top dead center. And then from there, we can see if our cam is degreed properly. I think it is, we'll find out. One of the few silver linings that we have is we're taking this intake manifold off and one of the bolts snapped for the fuel rail. So we'll get to figure that out, we'll get to fix that. We were gonna try to do it inside here, but. No way. So once we pop that out, really simple. What well, was not on there, get that out. We'll show you guys how to do it. And uh, luckily, the way we set this up is we can unplug all these sensors and literally take this wire, this whole cable, pull it straight back. Fuel line will take off here. We'll take this whole thing off with the fuel rail and then uh, get all these uh, pulley dollies apart. So let's, let's have at it. it. So guys, as you can see, we got most of the intake manifold or all the intake manifold off, almost the exhaust manifold. We basically just got to do this V-band down here, but I want to take the time to show you that the reason why I made the wiring harness the way it is, is for times like this, you know, comes right out, unclips, and if my brother ever wants to, we can pull this wiring harness out in probably an hour or two and throw it in any other vehicle we want. Now it's time to get this head off. So we can put our uh, piston stop on, figure out what is going on with this camshaft. Just We're really just making sure that it's where it's supposed to be. So let's keep this assembling.
All right, guys, as you can see, we've got our head off. We have this mostly stripped. And uh, something we purchased was this um, piston stop, they call it, or true top that center plate, whatever. So we got to get some bolts for this so that we can find true top dead center. And we got ourselves a nice little cam degree wheel. So this will bolt on here. We will find absolute true top dead center. We'll mark it, spin it the other way. We'll show you the whole process, but you get the point. So let's get cracking. So we tried the test once already and we noticed that we didn't have it set up like this with our nice uh, fancy vice grips here, but we have the actual magnetic mount for these arms with these hinges on it that you tighten down. But one of the hinges was plastic and we were getting a little play in that plastic piece. So we're gonna try this test again. We made a little uh, homemade deal here and let's do it. I'll show you the first step and that, which is we gotta make a little piece of wire, which will be our indicator. So we have a little marker and we'll set it at zero and I'll show you guys in a minute what's going on. Okay guys, so our next step is to make this indicator. So just a bolt off the, what was one of the water pump bolts. And when you put that down to, when you set this up, you put it down so it lines up with hopefully zero degrees top dead center. And the way we approximated that was we actually put the timing cover on with the uh, crank, crank pulley and line that up to the zero degree mark on the timing cover. So it's an approximate guess. And the way you do this is you use this thing. Piston stop. The piston stop. There's plenty of YouTube videos on it. Probably at least 15, 20. If you YouTube search how to degree a cam, there's plenty of videos. So you guys can check that out. But <clears throat> essentially, what we, essentially what we did is you have your piston stop. So you spin your engine 360, you spin it till it hits the piston stop. Then you spin it back the other way. You need to pay attention to what the numbers are when it hits the piston stop one clockwise and counterclockwise. The difference of those numbers is how much you need to move, the half of the difference of those numbers is how much you need to adjust your wheel so that you can find absolute top dead center. So once you've discovered what absolute top dead center is by hitting the piston stop and going back and forth and making the difference and getting it so it's the same number each way, what you do is you go to your cam card here if you have an aftermarket camshaft and on your cam card it tells you that at four degrees before top dead center, your intake needs to be, needs to read 44,000 is open. So what we do is you've got your dot, your degree wheel here. You set it to four degrees before top dead center and you check. You check to see how much your lifter has moved. If your lifter has moved 44 thousandths at four degrees before top dead center, you know your camshaft is degreed properly. If it's not, you have to figure out how many degrees it's going to take you to get to your desired 44 thousandths or whatever it may be for your camshaft, everyone's different. And once you figure out how much degrees you need to adjust, you need to buy the correct cam gear to adjust accordingly. So we've done this test now. We noticed there's a lot of slop. I don't know if you can see that in our chain here. It's, you know, 200,000 mile chain. So we did our test and we're getting very close to 44. If you thousands. want to guys check, watch, T pay attention to the gauge and you will see once I try to get to top dead center. Keep going, keep going, a little more. Oh, about four there, a little, a little less. So as you can see, we are very close to our 44. This gauge, you know, we can't really trust it. We got it for free. It's very wonky. But another thing is, if you see here, you move, you can move the t the uh, gear a little bit, and moving that gear is what's. That's where the play is. So our theory is, if we replace our 
gears and our timing chain with the factory set because to me off a thousandth or two is the play in the gear it's not because of the degree of the camshaft so our the, our goal is get new gears new chain and we're going to run this test again and see what it does hopefully as far as we know we are pretty confident that our cam is degreed properly what do you think jeff i really think it is i just think it's the slop so tune in next time guys and you'll see us put a new timing gear on and hopefully throw this thing back together and prep it for the dyno let's tune it <laughs>